Hello friends, so by now you may have seen my unboxing video of the Samsung Sombar. Uh, thank you so much for all the likes and, and comments so far for showing the support. Uh, today in this video I will be showing you how I have connected my non-smart TV with my Samsung Sombar. So uh, as this Sombar has multiple options to connect audio. Uh, I can use a digital audio connector which unfortunately my TV doesn't have uh, I have been using so far an aux cable to connect but today I bought a device from uh, Amazon uh, which is a Bluetooth receiver and I was able to connect this soundbar with my TV using that small device so today I'll just be showing you how I have connected uh, that device and a quick review of this small device which I bought so this is what I have bought it's from a company called Pagaria I've never heard of this company and uh, this was the box that I received so it's a, a multifunction audio transmitter and receiver uh, it transmits Bluetooth signal as well as it also receives Bluetooth signal and, and as for the box packaging uh, it says I can that, that this can be used to connect with a TV um, or make an old speaker into a bluetooth speaker and other multi-functions it cost me around 500 rupees from amazon i will leave the buying link uh, if you are interested please do use that link it supports the channel a little bit and uh, um, in terms of bluetooth connectivity it has bluetooth 5 it uh, supports uh, stereo sound uh, it says low latency and no noise so i've been using this for a couple of days now and uh, I've had no issues uh, using this yeah. and inside the box uh, I got uh, only two contents one is this Bluetooth receiver and transmitter and then an aux cable that's all the content that was there inside this box uh, this device has two buttons here one is TX and then one is RX so RX means receiver and TX means transmitter so if you have to toggle between this switch whether uh, in order to transmit or in order to receive Bluetooth signal so if you want this to connect Bluetooth with your soundbar and TV then you have to use the transmit button so that uh, this Bluetooth can transmit the audio signal from the TV and this Bluetooth sound the, the soundbar can then connect it accordingly so I'll connect this in the TV and I'll show you how I've, I've done that so this is the uh, back side of my TV and as you can see I have, I have my Mi TV stick connected here. So uh, all you need to do is uh, in this device you have one port of the device which is uh, which has a 3.5 mm audio jack uh, and then the other one is the USB. So USB uh, you just have to find one of one empty USB port in your TV and just plug that in. And once you have that plugged in one of the empty USB ports, the second thing you need to do is find the audio uh, connection for your TV. So I have it in right here. So let me yeah. So that's the basic setup. The device connected to an empty USB port, and then you connect it to your connection of your TV, and then with the device. Once you have done that then you just have to turn on the bluetooth on your soundbar so let's do that and i'll show you how we connect it uh, so as you can see i have not connected any aux cable or there is no connection uh, i'll be connecting the soundbar with the bluetooth device and play some audio for you so on the side of the speaker you have this options to volume up and down and then this is for choosing the connectivity option so you can toggle we also have the option in your um, remote but what i found out is if you press bluetooth on your remote it normally does not connect so what you have to do is select the bluetooth connectivity option and you need to press this um, uh, this button for about five seconds so that the so that the soundbar is synced to your uh, the bluetooth device so let's do that right now power on the soundbar So it's now powered on and then you have to also play some video so that uh, you know that when it is connected uh, if it plays a sound so let me search for some 
free music so the music is playing but it's not yet on uh, playing on the soundbar because the bluetooth is not connected so uh, you have to just play some random video so you know that it's connected so let's go back to the soundbar okay so now it's on so you need to just press this for about five seconds Yeah, so that's how you can connect the soundbar via Bluetooth with a non-smart TV. All you have to do is buy that small device. It costs roughly around 500 rupees, but uh, it's an awesome device. Um, it helps connect your soundbar via Bluetooth with your TV uh, if your TV doesn't have any Bluetooth connectivity options. So yeah, that's it. Uh, I hope you like this video and uh, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day.